As a Democrat, I am increasingly disturbed by the growing repression in Russia today. We see many examples of human rights abuses. The rule of law is becoming weaker all the time. Genuine democracy is still a distant hope. The European Union's relationship with Russia is important in many ways, but it should be built on the compatibility of fundamental principles. We must never compromise our values in this relationship. We have a duty to speak out for those Russians who share our values. And we should always stand shoulder to shoulder with supporters of those democratic principles and human rights defenders in Russia. One of the most symbolic examples of human rights abuse in the past 10 years has been the trial and imprisonment of Mikhail Khodorkovsky. His suffering reflects the lack of independence of Russian judicial system. He was jailed simply because he presented a threat to the established order. Mikhail Khodorkovsky, dear friend, you are a man of courage, a man of determination. Through your resistance, you have become an icon to all those in Russia fighting for a better future. This is the tenth year of your imprisonment, and you will also celebrate your 50th birthday. I join with many parliamentarians in this house in expressing my solidarity with you and my deep concern for your welfare. When I was the president of the European Parliament, I met your brave mother. I also had a chance to speak with your son, Pavel. Their love and support has no limits. I hope that next year, when you are due to be released, you will come to the European Parliament. We want to meet you and to hear your views on Russia's future and have a chance to thank you for your battle and testimony. All the best and stay safe.